In this lesson, we are going to learn about chords in a circle. A chord is a line segment whose end points lie on the circumference of a circle. A chord divides a circle into two segments. The bigger segment is called the major segment. And the smaller segment is called the minor segment. The longest chord is one which passes through the center of the circle. In other words, a diameter is the longest chord of the circle. There is another important property involving the center and a chord. If a line is drawn from the center to the chord, and it is perpendicular to the chord, then this line will bisect the chord. This is an important theorem which you need to know and learn. Let's call it Theorem 1. You also need to know how to prove the theorem. You will find this proof in the notes. Please learn it off by heart. The converse of this theorem is also true. If a line is drawn from the center of a circle to the midpoint of the chord, then this line will be perpendicular to the chord. Here is the converse in words. And lucky for you, you do not need to know the proof. In fact, you do not need to know the proof of any converse theorem. There is one more fact that you need to know about chords. The perpendicular bisector of any chord will always pass through the center of a circle. Here is the theorem in words. Let's call it theorem number 2. And lucky for you, you do not need to know the proof. But you do need to know the statement. You will find it in the notes. Let's do some typical questions that are asked in this section. A circle with center O is given. OQ is perpendicular to PR. PR is equal to 16 centimeters. And OQ is equal to 6 centimeters. Find the length of the radius of the circle. We are given that OQ is perpendicular to PR. So using theorem 1, we can conclude that PQ must be equal to QR. PQ is therefore equal to 8 centimeters which is half of 16 centimeters. And we are given that OQ is equal to 6 centimeters. We can therefore use Pythagoras in triangle POQ to find the length of the radius. In other words, OP squared is equal to 8 squared plus 6 squared, which is equal to 100. OP is therefore equal to 10. The length of the radius is therefore 10 centimeters. Please pause the lesson to check my working. Let's do another typical question. A circle with center O is again given. PR is equal to 8 centimeters. PQ is equal to PR. And the radius is 5 centimeters. Find the length of OQ. Using the converse of theorem 1, we can conclude that OQ is perpendicular to PR. We are given that PR is equal to 8 centimeters, so QR is equal to 4 centimeters. We are also given that the radius is 5 centimeters. To find the length of OQ, we need to use Pythagoras in triangle OQR. In other words, OQ squared is equal to OR squared minus QR squared. OQ squared is therefore equal to 5 squared minus 4 squared, which is equal to 9. OQ is therefore equal to 3 centimeters. Please pause the lesson to check my working. Let's do one more question together. PQ is a chord with length 24 centimeters. 
ABC is a perpendicular bisector of chord PQ. And RSQ is the diameter of the circle with length 26 cm. Find the length of BC. Using theorem 2, we can conclude that S must be the center of the circle. This means that SQ is a radius and is equal to 13 centimeters. In other words, half the diameter. BQ is equal to 12 centimeters, which is half of PQ. We can now use Pythagoras in triangle SBQ to find the length of SB. In other words, SB squared is equal to SQ squared minus BQ squared. This is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared, which is equal to 25. SB is therefore equal to 5 centimeters. Are we finished? No. We were asked to find the length of BC. Can you see how? BC is equal to SC minus SB. And SC is equal to 13 because it is a radius. And SB we have just calculated to be 5. BC is therefore equal to 8 centimeters. This completes the lesson for today. Good luck with the test.